Welcome to CVOR Trading Group. Today we're going to talk about the ES open trade. You guys know, as usual, we're trading RTY only at the open. Now we're going to trade ES and RTY. Okay, so for the ES, I'm going to make it easy and simple. So we don't need to like, you know, move the stock here, move the stock here, and you're going to be confusing with RTY and ES. So make it simple and make it automated. So for me, I'm trading three contracts. It's up to you. You're going to trade two or three. It's up to you. Okay, so I'm going to show you the ATM strategy for ES. Here we go. You can do the same. So, ES, I'm trading three. You can trade two. Up to you. Our stop is going to be 22 ticks. It's not like 44 ticks because you have to know ES, one point equal four ticks, not like RTY. So, here when you're talking about 22 ticks stop, 22 ticks divided by four, 22 ticks divided by four mean 5.5. .5. Plus 50, if you trade ES, E mini, it's going to be 275 per, per contract. So it's up to you. You're going to trade one, trade two. And I, to be honest, like I, I, I can say, just trade two. You don't need to trade three. Just trade two. Right? So for the two, actually, I'm going to remove this one. I'm going to show how to trade two. It's going to be easier. And just remove this one. So two. Okay, first one, 22 text, stop. Profit gonna be 12 text. Profit gonna be 12 text. 12 divided by four mean three points. So the profit is 12 text. Stop strategy. When the market hit 10 text profit, we're gonna add our break even. So gonna be auto break even plus one. So we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna make auto break even profit trigger 10 text plus one means when the market hit 10 text, your stop will move to break even plus one tick. So you can pay for the commission. This for the first one. The second one, same we using for RTY, we're using 40 tick stop. We're going to use here 20 tick stop. So I'm again, I'm using here 12 ticks profit trigger plus one for the mark, which means, and this is optional to be honest. This is optional. If you want to keep it, keep it. If you want to move this one, this means when you first start get hit, your second contract will be a big, will be a big plus one, which is safe. You know what I mean? You're not going to lose. You know? So if you hit profit target hit, you already in profit. You just trail. You want to move this one? Move it. It's up to you. But I'm going to add it because, you know, I want to make the ES less stress-free. You know what I mean? I'm going to make it to make it. And the trailing, I'm not going to use here. Stop. So. Stop first one gonna be profit trigger 20 ticks. When the market, when the market hit 20 ticks profit, when the market hit 20 ticks, actually it should be one second. No, move this one. When the market hit 12 ticks, this used to be the second one. When the market, you move this one. You don't need it. No, need it this one. You don't need any auto break even. You don't need it. When the market hit profit 12 ticks, which means the first one is on profit, you move you move your stop loss 20 ticks and make it frequency one. It happen each tick. So whatever the market moves, your your stop would be 20 ticks above or below the current price. That's it. Keep it, save it, save it as template, and that's it. I'm using the second, I'm going to show you now, I'm going to save this template, I'm going to use it as ES2 two two contract. Uh, no, no, no. Okay, so I'm going to use this template as ES2 contract. And that's it. So I need this ES2 contract. If you guys look at the, the ES3 contracts, the reason I'm using the, uh, I'm, I'm going to show you the three contracts, show the difference. Using three contracts, so 22 takes profit, a uh, short stop, and 23, 24, make a tick between each of them. The first one, the same, profit target is 12. And the auto break even 10 ticks, no, no problem, plus one. The second one I'm using here, this is, I'm going to tie the stop, I'm going to add the second one, 12 ticks plus one break even. So when, when the first one hit, hit the stop, hit the profit, my second, same like I had 12, my second one will be a break even. But the third one will be at 20. So the second one will be at break even. And I'm going to start trailing, trailing it. When, the, when I hit 20 ticks profit, 
not, not, not 12 when I hit 20 text bar. Then I will add my stop 16 ticks below or above the market price. And gonna be gonna happen every tick. So I don't need to move about it. Uh, you need to worry about it. And for the third one, no break even, 20 ticks, stop, when market hit 12 ticks profit, and it's gonna be 9999 nine, nine, nine. means I added 999 nine, nine, need happen one time. Frequency mean it happened each one tick, two ticks. I added 99 line ticks, mean it's gonna happen every 999 ticks, which is what never happened. I mean, so so it happened one time. Why I'm doing this for myself? Because I use a wide stop. If you guys remember RTY, I'm not I'm, I'm not making this moving by itself because I want to use the wide stop so I can adjust the entry. Sorry, adjust the stop 10% from the whole move. You guys know this. 10% from the whole move. The market move, let's say, from the entry to the to now, like 40, uh, 40 ticks. Then I will add my stop. 10% from the 40, going to be 4 ticks. So I'm going to add 4 ticks below or above the 20 ticks I have open. So I can catch the bigger move. If, if, you, want, if, if you want to stick with type, let, you have to do this. Okay? Just make it one. Even for the RTY. Even for the RTY, for the second one, if you want to stick with 40 ticks, stop. You don't even to move it. Just make it 40 ticks, stop. Make profit trigger 24. And, you know, frequency one. So your second contract will be moving 40 ticks all the time from the entry, whatever it happens. So you don't need, you can just take the trade and go home or do whatever. You, need, you don't need to babysit it. But you know what I mean? For me, I like the white stop. That's why I'm using this 99.9. So it happened all the time. Just one time, and then I move it by my, by, by hand, and adjust uh, the ten percent movement. That's it. So, like I said, if you're trading, you have to know that to the risk. Before. If you're trading two contract ES, twenty-two ticks. You got twenty-two ticks divided by four, gonna be four five point five feet um, times two, which is two contracts, gonna be eleven points times fifty. This is going to be 550 bucks. So I have to know this, your risk. You have to know your risk. This is going to be 500. This is more risk than RTY. If you're using two contracts, RTY is almost 440. This is 550 per trade. So I suggest, I suggest, at least for the first month, trade ES micro. And if it will confuse you trading RTY and ES at open, both, both at the same time, just stick with RTY. You, know, you don't need to trade both, or you can just trade R2I for now and keep because I'm gonna I'm gonna look our trade in yes, and then after a month or two you can see okay, you know what I see yes, way profitable. I'm gonna trade yes only or R2I only or both doesn't matter because ES is different than R2I. ES is S and P 500, which is the largest 500 firms in US market. R2I is a small cap. Uh, which called us 102,000, which is the, the small cap to southern company in US, in US market. So the, the, the RTY is the small cap and the ES is the big spur. So different. Sometimes RTY go up, ES go down. Doesn't matter. Usually they go together, but you know, it doesn't matter. You be stick together. But so like, like today it happened. Today ES was up 10, almost like six points. RTY is the same and then sink down both at the same time. Sometimes they move together, sometimes you don't know. We, we don't move together. Sometimes we took two trades, ES, RTY, one is winner, one is loser, so we're going to pay each other. It's okay. But you have to make up your mind. Trade R2I, ES, both of them, it's up to you. Okay. And again, for R2I trade, for R2I setup, if you want to make your R2I to make, to make it at 40 ticks, you can do it. If you look at R2I, two contracts here 44 stop, 24 profit, 45, make it 600 because you know we're going to trade. And then for the stop strategy for the second one here, you can add custom and you can say, okay, profit trigger 24. No, sorry, not, not, not. just step one, profit triggers 24 ticks and then stop 40 ticks. And then, okay, and then you, and you say, that's it. That means yes, your second contract will be 40 ticks all the time from, your, from, from the market price. That's it, you don't need to move it. It's gonna be easier for you if you wanna you know, make, make everything go to me. That's it, and see you at the end of the day.